One of the most common questions I get about the Arcade Guys Retro Arcade is whether or not it includes certain games or systems. And that's a little bit of a hard question since the Arcade Guys are constantly changing their ROM image. So what I have on my system is not necessarily going to be what's on your system. But this really shouldn't be a problem since you can always add the games after the fact or as I'm gonna show you, maybe you should be just using a different ROM image altogether. I'd recommend everyone look at arcadepunks.com and finding whatever image works best for them. But in my case, I looked for one that would be easy enough to put onto this particular arcade, fit in the 128 gigabytes that the machine comes with, and also offer a bit of a better selection of games that I was looking for. And what I decided on was the Wolfano's 12K Gold 128 gigabyte. Now this does come with 12,000 games and that is less than the 17,000 or so that this arcade comes with. However, the default image that the arcade guys provides has a lot of games that are not really what most people are probably gonna be looking for um, and a lot of like really small games that really boost up that number. Whereas this is a little bit more curated and has a lot more of the larger 3D games as well as some of the more console games. So like Saturn games, they are included in the Wolf Anos, they were not included on the Arcade Guys. Partly I can understand why the Arcade Guys wouldn't want to include it in their image since it doesn't really work all that well with all games, but Wolf Anos has sorted that out for you and only included the games that are going to work pretty well. Also Daphne games, so games like Dragon's Lair are also included, which they used to be included in Arcade Guys, but they were no longer included in the latest build they sent me. But more importantly for me, it didn't include games for systems that I was never going to ever, ever, ever play, as well as including things that were taken out by the Arcade Guys when switching over to the latest version. The big inclusion is the border images are back, something that the latest version of Arcade Guys does not include. Also, the emulators are a little bit more set up for an arcade, kind of interestingly. Last month, I was looking to play four-player Bomberman with a group of people, and unfortunately, the arcade guys, the emulator is not set up for four players on SNES and some of the other consoles, whereas Wolfanos is set up for that, and so everything works great right out of the box. Also, certain Dreamcast games would not run correctly on the arcade guys for me, but they do run correctly on the Wolf Anos. And that might just be that it's using a later emulator. It might be just be that it's using a little bit of a different ROM image. But yeah, it works better than the one that comes stock with the arcade. Also, just in general, the presentation is a little bit of a higher quality and it looks a little bit more inviting to use. So everything kind of makes a little bit more sense. Uh, everything just looks a bit more polished. Uh, and there are a lot fewer duplicate games included here. So you're not gonna get, you know, four different versions of certain games. There are a few games that still have two different versions included here, but you're not gonna have like four or five different versions of the same game that are almost identical, except, you know, one tiny little thing. So is there any reason why you shouldn't change the image to Wolfano's or whatever you wanted to in the future? And yeah, there are a few reasons why some people shouldn't. You are gonna need to crawl around inside the back of your arcade to get out the SD card. So that can be a hinder for some people you are going to need to flash a new image on top of the SD card or onto a new SD card. And that might be a hindrance to some people. You can just use, you know, Felina Etcher or you can use a Win32 Disk Imager. Those all work just fine. And once you get everything installed back into the arcade, you're probably still going to need to reassign the buttons so that everything works correctly in game. For me, it was pretty easy. In the Wolf Anos setup, it was pretty easy to adapt to the arcade, but it is something you'll need to do. But overall, the Arcade Guys machine is a Raspberry Pi machine. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You can make it however you want it to make it. You can make your own image and install whatever games you want to. It's your arcade to play with. Just make sure you secure your Raspberry Pi again before you start using it.